Hello, this is Eric and Abouse, and welcome to my review of Dr. Squash. You might have seen the ads on YouTube, because this is a fancy soap that's all online advertising. So, question, just like Vessi shoes you may see the review of, which I have a review of, is, of course, is any good? Well, we got some of the different products. This one's Pine Tar deodorant. We got uh, Alpine Sage deodorant. And we got Fresh Falls. And we have Pine Tar Soap. And uh, Alpine Sage Soap. And the matching Fresh Falls Soap. So now, let's get started. Okay, so I've actually never opened this yet before. So I'm curious of how the soap looks. Hmm. Interesting looking soap here. It smells interesting. I'm not particular about the Alpine tar smell. But let's see the next one here. Alpine sage. Quite a different color too. Not bad. Not bad at all, okay. And our Fresh Falls. Of course, the true test is actually trying as soap because we got some condensed smell here. And they got little pieces of soap here. Fresh Falls, hmm, not bad. Smells kind of soapy actually. And the donuts have a bit of a different smell to them as well. I actually smelt it, never used it. I didn't dealt it. <laughs> uh, these are all a bit hard to open, the deodorants itself, because they have a cap and you really have to try to get your finger underneath it. Huh. I seriously think the deodorants actually have a nicer smell than the soaps, at least for actually smelling them as they are. So I'm going to be trying these soaps out and I think I can give my sister an interview. However, she don't want to be showing camera. So I'm going to do a mic, lapel mic, so I can actually see what she thinks of them. I already got her viewpoint, but it's going to be a different experience being that she already smelt some of these and actually enjoyed that. And she actually said like the commercials, she says she would love it if her man smelt like this. It's very manly, the smell. Let's see what you think of the smell of each one there. And this is the soap I use, this, this one, the pine tar. Oh, that? Yeah. This, wait, the, which one was the one I really enjoyed? This was the one I really liked. You liked Fresh Falls a lot? No. And this is the donor to the pine tar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, this one. That smells good. <laughs> How about the Fresh Falls donut? It's alright, but the soap smells better. Okay, Alpine Sage? Mm, no, it's a manly smell, but it's not, a, it's not appealing to me. Now I'm going to continue on with each day's experience, starting with day one. So I used the soap for the first time ever. I used the pine tar, which is this black one, which was a bit of a mixed bag for experience. For one, can you see that darkness on my hand? The soap, the water that washed off looked like it was like a was dirty almost kind of idea. But it doesn't dry your skin, it seems. So it's quite nice that way. And it's, um, how do you say, exfoliating because you can actually feel some abrasiveness. This is just not soap you can just rub on and scrub in your body. It's actually kind of, well, it's not smooth and silky. So it works to actually fully exfoliate your skin here. So your skin's look a bit more youthful kind of thing since you're cleaning off the old dead stuff. Now the pine tar deodorant, this actually was quite nice. I must say it was a quite a different experience, of course, than the actual soap. It smells quite nice. It's almost a 
a mild minty fresh scent, nature scent with it. So I honestly, I like this stuff. Now, of course, to see how it holds up in terms of making me smell nice. But so far, so far, thumbs up on the pine tar deodorant. My experience on day two. So day two, and now I tried Fresh Falls. So the verdict on this one, it's not a pumice type stone like that tar one is. Pine tar is more pumicey. And of course this one is nice, thick kind of lather. And my sister actually liked this one in terms of scent as well as using it. And it could be smelt more, of course, it's kind of an unfair comparison. This one not really gonna lather all over me because it's kind of abrasive. This one is nice and smooth. And the deodorant, nice as well. However, my, prefer my personal preference is I prefer the pine tar scent for myself, but this one's not bad either. My experience for day three, and also I'm gonna note a final conclusion of what I think overall, including, well, some of my opinions have changed slightly in terms of the scents I actually like, but we'll see that here in the conclusion and my final day. So day three, I tried Alpine Sage. This is definitely not my cup of tea personally. And the soap itself is actually like smooth and thick. It's almost like a goat's milk kind of soap, I guess you could say. So no abrasiveness to it, but my least favorite scent personally. So after the three days here, I actually kind of got used to the fresh, fresh falls. And so this is definitely my favorite set if I'm going for sets overall. And for deodorant, that would be um, pine tar as well. So this is more like a cologne. I don't normally wear cologne, but it has that more cologne manly smell to it. And so I agree with my sister that if I were going out on a date, this one is a very nice smell to use the freshness falls of the soaps I tried. So for dryness, moisturizing and whatnot, honestly, it's like your average soap. If you use it a lot, your hands are gonna get dry. Each scent kind of lasted different based upon, well, which one it was. I found the freshness falls was the longest lasting out of any of these other three here. So freshness falls, the scent of the soap and the deodorant last longer, so about half a day for the donut and after about three hours I couldn't really notice the smell of the soap so much. Um, I didn't really stink after like a whole day with the freshness falls just kind of went neutral no real smell at all so if you want to know your opinion my opinion of that well there you go the alpine sage I don't know how long it's gonna last but either way I don't really like the smell that much and the pine tar I found probably only lasted about six hours for how long I, I found that the smell really lasted. I'm thinking these soaps actually might fade away faster than a regular soap because they're very thick. And of course they go on thick, which means you, they might not last as long in terms of uh, for, compared to a bar of soap that just goes on thinly. And for storage, I recommend keeping them in a drier place and not let them fill up with water in say a soap container. Make sure it drains the water or else these I'm sure won't last very long at all. So just to note that. And it's kind of funny, you have these environmental packages here. Cardboard look, look that recycled look to it. And then we have this thick plastic container. Nice style, but I'm just saying it's kind of opposite. Thick plastic, nice recycled cardboard look. So is it worth the extra price to get natural? That's up to you. But this is my experience, and I hope you learned something today. Have yourselves a most wonderful day. This is not BIOS Tech and Hardware. If you have any questions later on, please note them below because I'm actually be using this soap till it's all gone. And of course, I'll be able to note um, how long it lasts and whatnot. And of course, I don't know how long the donor will last or anything else. So, 
feel free to ask away. And then of course I can answer your questions and possibly make a later video and maybe even try some different products. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments.